Good morning guys. It is early morning today and I gotta say I had a really really good sleep in there. I slept for almost 12 hours. So pretty good. I woke up three or four times throughout the night to throw in a couple logs in the stove because it did get quite cold and it even started raining. You'll notice the outside of the tent is completely soaked. Everything inside is absolutely dry and I gotta say having a tent that big for one person when it rains it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter if it rains because you have so much room inside to move around and it just, it, it was it was good. It was a really good night last night. So I've got my coffee, sipping on my second cup right now. I have some oatmeal and cinnamon ready in my, my pot inside. I'm just waiting for that water to come up the temperature. And, uh, and it's basically gonna be a morning routine of coffee and oatmeal. And then I would like to get camp situated, cleaned up a little bit because it did rain. So the firewood outside is wet, but it doesn't really matter because like I said yesterday, there's so much firewood everywhere around here that is still dry. I mean, once you cut into it, it's dry. So I'm going to get that area fixed up a little bit and then I'm going to get all cleaned up and eat my oatmeal and all that stuff. And then I'm gonna grab my saw and I'm gonna head into the woods and look for a decent piece of wood to start carving with like I was mentioning yesterday. So I really want to do either a big bowl or a big spoon. I kind of tossed around ideas last night inside the tent. Uh, I probably have time for both realistically, but we'll see where the day takes us and, uh, and, and do that. And I also have my oven, so can't forget about that. I'm really excited for that. I want to get that inside on the wood stove a little later on and get some food cooking in there and, uh, and have a really good day. So coffee, oatmeal, and then hit the trail in the woods and look for a decent piece of wood.
All right, guys, now that I've got the outdoor fire going, and it's going pretty well, I should say, there'll, there'll definitely be a good cold base down there if I leave and come back, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my saw and I'm gonna head off into the woods and find a really nice piece of wood to work with and also more firewood to burn. So I do have three pieces of firewood up here on my rack drying. I'm gonna leave those. I'll probably only be gone about 15, 20 minutes looking for wood. I mean, it's all over the place. I probably don't have to go very far, but we've got a good fire going. I am going to move my chair to the other side today because the wind just seems to be going that way constant. So. I'm gonna go on that side and I'm gonna get everything set up out here. My my table, my chair, I'm gonna bring my large table outside because I'm gonna be outdoors most of the day today. And uh, and let's get let's get the wood and let's just get crafting. Let's get uh, doing some camp stuff. And there's that smoke on my face again. So I'm gonna grab the saw and head out and get some wood. All right, so this is gonna be our piece of wood that I just collected out of the woods. This is nice and solid. Good chunk of maple here, and uh, it's, it's, it's gonna work out really well, I think. It's solid on one end, the other end's a little punky, so I'm gonna knock that off, use it for firewood. But uh, right now, that's kind of exactly what I need to do, is get some firewood. I'm gonna toss a couple of these pieces on and keep it going. It is getting really warm, or at least I'm getting really warm. I, uh, I gotta strip off my sweater, moving around. That sun's getting high, working up a sweat. So I'm going to get my sweater off, grab my saw, collect a few pieces of small firewood just for this outdoor fire, and then cut this up and get started. Thank <laughs> you. 
so I'm just sitting here cutting up some of this firewood and I just noticed a couple of things. The piece that I'm going to be working on right now that I'm going to buck up for pieces outside, it actually looks better quality for carving than the other piece that I found. So I think I may lean towards carving with this long section here as opposed to using that. I do have other logs over here that I've already cut and I've also managed to actually process all of the wood that I need inside of the tent. So I started cutting and I didn't stop cutting, I just kept going. So I got, I'm going to say 95% of what I'm going to need in the tent right now for tonight. Now I am going to have my oven on top of the stove, so that is going to take up a bit of wood. So I am going to have to process some more wood just for this afternoon for baking some food. But I do think this log right here, I think it's going to be better quality for carving. The grain looks extremely tight. There's no cracks on the ends. I'm just going to strip this bark off and find a nice flat spot down here towards this thick end and knock out a, a decent sized bowl and then start going from there. So I'm going to get a couple logs on here. I am going to get my kettle out here over the fire as well to make up a tea because it is getting quite chilly now that I've stopped for a little bit. Probably going to throw my sweater back on. It's kind of a, you work hard with firewood, you get warm and then you stop and then you get cold. So it's going to be back and forth. But uh, we do have some clouds rolling in, so possibility of rain as well. So I'm just going to get everything situated out here and uh, probably start knocking away on this piece of wood here and see how far we get. Hopefully it works out and we don't have to switch to the other piece, but either way, it'll be a learning experience and it'll be fun too. Okay, so back and forth on this log choice again. Now I just cut a section off of the end of this dry piece. I gotta say, I'm gonna have to go with my original gut feeling on this because this guy just looked beautiful. It's dry, it's seasoned. The end grain piece that I cut off was cracked, but that's end grain. Once I got inside of it, it's nice and solid. So I think I am gonna go with this piece and uh, and leave the other log as backup or firewood. So I'm going to basically knock out a little V cut in this log. That's gonna be my working platform. I'll place this on top. I'm gonna to carve my spoon or I'm gonna chisel my spoon bowl in this one piece. And then I'm gonna buck it up and start processing it down to a more manageable size. I find this easier because I can sit down on this, I can angle the chisel, baton it in there and all that kind of stuff. So that's the plan. I'm going to go with this piece. Hopefully I'm correct. Um, <laughs> if not, we'll do it again on the other piece. So right now I do have my kettle on the fire and I actually have no tea with me this time. I, I thought I brought tea. I didn't. Instead, I brought something else special, which you guys will see as soon as that water is ready. But for now, I want to get this bucked up, uh, we're not bucked up just yet, sorry. I'm gonna take my hatchet and I'm gonna work the top of this nice and flat and, uh, and get a nice area where I wanna mark out where my bowl is and then start working on that.
All right, taking a quick little break. I've got some eggnog white hot chocolate. This stuff is super good. So I've got my hot drink ready. I'm gonna clean off this table over here. And this is gonna be kind of my working area, my working table. Get some of the stuff over here. And uh, I've got the log uh, kind of roughed out. I've got a nice flat spot where I wanna start carving. And you'll notice I'm using a very, very small hatchet. It, it's, it's basically a little throwing hatchet. I brought that, two reasons. One, I've actually been asked by a subscriber how I use that and when I would use it. So this is typically when I would use it. Uh, and two, I actually forgot my big hatchet at home. So this is a great opportunity to use that. And I normally I would use a bigger hatchet to rough something out like that, chopping it, get a nice flat surface. That little hatchet does the work. It's a little bit more work, but it still works. And it'll come in use later on for doing really small kind of knocks on the wood and, and, and taking some material off, as well as my large knife. This is gonna be used a lot during this project. So between that and the little hatchet, that'll help rough it out. And then I've got my tool roll here full of my chisels and my other woodworking tools that I'm gonna be using today. So that should be enough to get that going. It is getting nice and cool out. I love the cold temperature. And uh, as soon as I stop working for a few minutes, that cold temperature soaks in and I, I can really feel it. So once I get moving again, I'll be nice and warm. I'll get some more wood on that fire, get that cranked up and then start to work on that. So quick little break for a nice hot drink. Ooh, eggnog. Gotta love that. So, I'm gonna get set up here, get some tools out, and get ready to start working. All right, I got the bowl punched out. I got that all carved nice and smooth. A couple more pieces of firewood on the fire. Uh, before I get too in depth in this project, I've got to get my oven on my stove because I have to get lunch cooking before I forget about it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that set up, get that going inside of the tent. Um, I don't know, I'll do supper on the fire most likely. I think that's what I'll do later on do the supper over the fire, but for now I gotta get inside the tent, get that wood stove going again, get the oven on, get some food in the oven, and uh, come back out here and pick away on my carving.
Okay guys, I got my oven on top of the stove. The stove is rocking out some serious heat right now, so hopefully this will come up the temperature rather quickly. I have a roll of crescent dough, and I've got my pan that I'm gonna pop inside of there and make some, make some crescents, basically. So tonight's supper, I'm gonna be doing pasta. I'm gonna be doing a pesto dish, and I'm gonna try to save some of these for that pesto dish. And then, later on tonight, I'm gonna be firing this back up for a big old plate of nachos. So I'm gonna be doing this whole dish with nachos, cheese, salsa, uh, sour cream, a whole bunch of good stuff. So I'm gonna be doing that tonight and I'm probably even gonna watch a movie on my phone. So that's gonna be snack time tonight. But I gotta wait for this to come up the temperature, get these in there and then back outdoors carving. All right guys, first round of biscuits are done. Beautiful golden brown. I put another pan in there with two more. The pan didn't quite fit, so I had to turn on an angle and just cram it in there. It's in there, it'll come out no problem. But these are looking really good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh man, super crunchy. Really, really flaky. Oh yeah. All right, so supper tonight is gonna be amazing. Mmm, man, those are good. So we're holding at 275 for temp. I got the stove full of wood. I've got all this awesome off cut from that spoon that I'm making and this stuff is just bone dry. I've got a bunch more out there kind of picking away at it but uh, yeah definitely happy I brought the oven mmm those are gonna be hard to stay away from I'll put them down on the side rack so they don't get burned maybe over here Right, guys I got my spoon shape roughed out as you can see now I ran into a little bit of a problem when I was kind of working with the wood here there were two cracks and uh, basically I saved it it's still good but what I had to do is I had to actually knock off about a half inch off the top to get rid of that crack unfortunately what that means is the bowls not as deep as I wanted it to be so I, I could dig down a little bit. I don't think I have a whole lot of room to spare, but I think I am gonna try and maybe 
enlarge the bowl just a bit because I want it for like a cooking spoon, like mixing, you know, cooking mainly with my wok. Um, so it's not for eating, obviously. I mean, that's a huge, huge handle. <laughs> so I'm going to try and enlarge the bowl a little bit very, very carefully by hand with the chisel and, uh, and see what I can come up with. And then I think what I'm going to do is probably pick away at it tonight inside of the tent because it is getting quite late right now and I've got to get supper on the fire and get that cooking. So I'm going to set it aside for now. It's looking really good though. This wood is incredibly thick. Really, really happy I went with this log instead of the other log. This is extremely dense, extremely dense. So I'm glad I got those cracks out of there though. It was worth it. No point in making a project that's not going to work properly, right? So I'm going to finish this up later on tonight inside most likely. I'll probably pick away at it maybe outside by the fire later on tonight as well. But uh, looking good so far. I'm really happy with that. So not bad for uh, not bringing a real hatchet. I've, I've been using my, my big knife to kind of pick away at it, but I've, I've had to improvise certain striking methods. So I had, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff happened. And uh, anyways, I'm happy where I'm at. I really do got to get cooking right now though. So I'm going to set this aside, get my tools put away just in case it does rain because it is looking like it might actually rain. So I'm going to get this wrapped up, clear out this area and start cooking on supper. We've got a massive wok full of pesto pasta. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Mmm. I love pesto. So, did a whole pan of pasta, pesto sauce, a bag of Parmesan cheese, and black olives. That's it. Real simple, real quick. Mmm and our oven baked croissants. Oh yeah, from that pesto. Mmm. Oh yeah.
All right, guys, supper was awesome. Man, that was a lot of pesto. I gotta say, I'm I'm still stuffed. So, still sipping away on my, my pumpkin spiced ale and uh, making some good progress on the spoon. It's actually coming out really well. I did enlarge the, the bowl a little bit, so it's coming along really well. And uh, I'm pretty much done with the bowl. I'm now starting on the handle, so I'll, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it the full length or if I'm gonna shorten it up. But I think it's gonna make a nice little soup spoon for cooking soups and whatnot. I think that'll be pretty cool. So I've got probably another hour or so before nightfall actually sets in completely. So I've got a little bit more firewood cut up. Um, I still do have another log over here I still got to cut. And then the big old log that I made this out of, that section still left. And I still have all the firewood inside of the tent. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to chill out and finish this spoon. I think I got enough time to finish it up. So I'm going to finish that before the sun goes down. And, uh, and it is completely, completely cloud covered right now. Quite, quite dark clouds up there actually. So might rain, might not. If it does, I'm just going to sit in the doorway of the tent in my chair, look out at the fire, keep doing what I'm doing and, uh, and enjoy the night. Coming along really well. All right, guys, here comes the rainfall. I'm not sure how bad it's gonna come down, but it kind of came out of nowhere. It's sprinkling right now, but it was raining quite heavy a few minutes ago. So I threw a lot of wood on the fire. I got the two lanterns going right now. Uh, oh, I did finish the spoon. Turned out pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with it. I, uh, I took my, my knife, every knife that I have, I always put a really sharp 90 degree angle spine on it and I just scraped the whole handle with the 90 degree spine. And, uh, and I left all the tool marks on the bowl and on the inside. So everything I make, I basically take home and just give it to my girlfriend anyways. So this will be a new household soup spoon for her. I probably will never use it in the woods, but uh, it's always fun to make something. So this is actually really cool. I'm happy with it. It's nice and long, probably about a foot long. Got a decent sized spoon on there, you know, for cooking soups and stews and whatnot. So actually a pretty fun project. So turned a chunk of hardwood into something usable. So pretty awesome, I'm happy with that. Save that for, uh, for home. And it is pretty cold out now. I gotta say, I, like now that I've got the wood on there and I moved forward a little bit, I threw a handful of all these hardwood shavings from that spoon in there and it took right off. So nice and warm now. So if, if it does come down really heavy with rain, I'm just going to sit inside of the tent like I was saying earlier. I'm not going to close the doors. I'll, I'll close one door and then I'll leave the other door open and kind of sit and, uh, and enjoy the campfire from inside of, of the tent until it gets really cold and dark and then I'll light the wood stove and enjoy a little bit of wood stove ambience. So, but for now, it seems like it's actually stopping now. Clouds are going by pretty quick though, so who knows? Who knows? But I'm gonna get some more firewood on this in a few minutes and I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. And uh, I've been hard at work on that spoon. My thumbs are killing me. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a, a, a few minutes of a break and I feel like I got enough firewood for outside. I definitely got that log I could throw on there. And, uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna take a few minutes and relax and see what the weather does and then, uh, and then carry on.
All right, guys, it is raining outside. It's pretty much nighttime here. It's almost pitch black out. I did go ahead and take my saw and collect a little bit more firewood. So I got the whole tent is just right around the stove is loaded full of firewood because I kind of figured I'd be stuck inside of here in the rain. So we got the stove going nice and hot. I am going to be cooking my nachos with my oven a little bit later on, but I think I'm just going to do that on my own time. It's, it's really difficult to work the camera inside of the tent. So I'm pretty much going to be done for the night for filming. I do have a couple photos I want to get. Those are always fun to do, especially when it's nighttime and you got a smoke trail coming out of the chimney. A lot of fun doing that. So I'm basically, what you see right now is basically where I'm going to be the rest of the night. Uh, later on, obviously, I'm going to pull my bed in front of the wood stove. So I'm going to close that door and put my cot right in front of the door. That way I can just lean over and feed the stove without having to reach around. But for now, it's looking pretty good in here and it's very, very hot. <laughs> I can tell you that. So I'm going to be taking this off very shortly, hanging it up at the top there, get it nice and dry for the morning. And that's basically it. So I'm going to say good night to you guys and I'll catch you guys first thing in the morning.
Good morning guys. It is approximately 7 a.m. right now and it is windy, it is cold, the whole tent is covered in ice. It's starting to melt quickly though now that the tent's getting quite hot with the wood stove. Um, I had a great night last night. I had the oven on top of the stove. I made my big plate of nachos. What I did is I put this whole pan, I filled it up with Triscuits. I didn't use Tostitos, I used Triscuits. I believe it was rosemary and some garlic, I think. Um, but those Triscuits, and then cheese, olives, orange pepper, red pepper. Man, it was a big plate of nachos. I had sour cream, I had salsa. So I had a, a whole table full of food. And, uh, and, and it, it was awesome, it was really, really good. So it was nice and warm inside of here. Um, there was a little bit of wet wood because I had to hurry and grab wood because it was raining, get it inside, put it on the racks and try drying it out. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It was actually quite warm in here. I had to damp the stove down a few times because it got really, really hot. Uh, but this, this guy here, I should probably mention this. I, I don't think I mentioned it yesterday. This was actually sent to me from a subscriber and he makes a whole bunch of neat little titanium camp tools and, and gadgets and whatnot. This is, it's a titanium poker. So it's got a hook on the end, it's got a point, and then the whole tube is hollow. So last night I popped this, I was laying on my camp cot in bed, and I popped this right up against the vent to the stove, and I blew into it, four or five breaths into the stove, and it took right off because it was just sizzling with wet wood. So this guy saved the day last night, I'm telling you, because I did not want to get out of bed and get down on my hands and knees and try and get that fire going. I just simply popped that right in the vent, bam, fire took off awesome little tool so he sent me this and I am gonna make a separate video of the things that he sent me and with his information if you guys are interested in this because he is an up-and-comer he is uh, making his own gear which is really cool and I always 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 help those people that send me gear and it's good quality they're small businesses I always give them a nice video and help them out because it's just a friendly thing to do and it's, it's good gear I mean people need help getting started nowadays so this is excellent. So what this is, this is his large spatula. He sent me another really small and extremely light spatula. I chose to bring this one on this particular trip because I actually used it as a stove scoop. So in between the, the days, because I was here for two days, so in between the stove cycles, I would let it cool down and then I would shovel all the ash out of the stove with this, pop it in my pan, take it over to the outdoor fire pit and dump it out there. So this little spatula, uh, slash scoop whatever you want to use it for this thing was awesome really really useful so like I said I'm gonna make a separate video on the other items plus these that he sent to me thank you very much for sending them by the way I'm very 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 happy and they will be in my kit for a long time I love titanium guys if you haven't noticed I mean everything cup stove I've got a titanium kettle that's not here with me today but I mean I've I've got so much titanium and I just, I love it. I love the properties of it, everything about it, I love it. So anytime I can get some titanium goodies, I'm always happy. But uh, right now, I'm just kind of relaxing for a few minutes. I'm gonna finish up my hot chocolate, with Irish cream hot chocolate, so that's really good. Um, today is home day, so I do have to get packed up and get out of here. Uh, I will show you guys my sleep system because I never even talked about it the entire trip, I don't believe. So I'm gonna show you guys my sleep system while I start packing it away really briefly. I'm just gonna explain what I brought. And uh, and then it's gonna be basically pack up, get the tent down, get it in the truck and drive out of here and go home, see my family. So I hope you guys enjoyed the trip so far. I know I have, nice and relaxing. I haven't been on a truck camping trip in a very, very long time. So really happy about that. And just looking over here, I'm really happy I, I had the opportunity to make a nice spoon. So this will make a great gift for my girlfriend. I know she'll like it and it'll be in our, our house and, and with our family for a long time. So that's kind of the, the cool thing about coming out here and having some reflection time and just being able to think and being able to sit and just be able to be for once, you know, without any kind of agenda. Things like this can happen. It's really, really cool. I like that. So, like I said, I'm going to finish up my hot chocolate, and then I'm going to let the stove get cooled down. I don't see any smoke coming out through the little crack up there. So, I'm going to let that cool down, and then it's going to be pack up time and get out of here. All 
All right, guys, I figured it'd be the easiest way to show you the gear would just be to bring it outside of the tent. I gotta pack it away anyway, so. What I've got with me on this trip, I brought my downfilled North Face Blue Kazoo sleeping bag. This thing is just a monster. I love it. It's incredibly thick, incredibly lofty. I do have a pillow way down at the foot end right now. That's the only thing that's in here. So this is a gigantic lofted sleeping bag. And like I said, I've had this thing for years and it's still performing. So I brought one of these little hunter sit pads. It's basically bring out for hunting, sit on it, keep your butt warm. That was my pillow, even though I really didn't use it that much because I took my sweater off and balled that up. I'm so used to using my sweater as a pillow. This was just added luxury. So that's the sleeping bag, North Face Blue Kazoo. And then underneath of that, I put my wool sweater underneath of me to add some comfort and some insulation. It also gives me a nice warm sweater in the morning when I crawl out of my sleeping bag. So that was the next item. And then on top of that, I have a wool blanket doubled up. So this is a military 100% wool blanket. I just doubled it and then laid it on top of my, my sleeping pad. My sleeping pad is a Thermarest, Thermarest Ridge Rest. This is the one with the foil. So this is an excellent pad. It keeps me extremely warm all winter time, no matter what the conditions are. This and possibly another inflated pad underneath of it. This thing is awesome. The only problem with this is it's very light, but the issue is it, it doesn't pack down small. It's still a large item, even when you roll it up. So it, it goes with me on sled trips, you know, some trips with my large pack, I'll, I'll jam that in there and put some gear inside of it when it's rolled up as well. So, and then my cot is my FE Active Camp Cot, which packs down very small. And that's basically it. That's all I've got for my sleep system. The wind's blowing the stuff all over the place. So I'm gonna get all this broke down, packed away, get it into my truck, and then I'm gonna start on my chair, table, get the stove out of the tent, and then do the big task of taking the tent down, getting that all packed away, get it all in the truck, and then it's gonna be hit the road. guys everything's packed up except for the stove last little bit of business is this pipe I've been waiting for a break in the wind because this 10 foot pipe unrolling this in really heavy winds can be problematic so I'm gonna try and do this rather quickly I do recommend wearing gloves while doing this because you will cut yourself however I've done it many times which is no excuse but I can work faster this way so, as you can see, 10 foot takes a little bit of time. I'm going to try and do it quickly though with the wind. The trick is getting this, the first bend to go, the first roll. a fairly new pipe. I've only burned in this 10 footer probably twice. So 
So a couple more burn-in cycles. That'll make that a lot easier. There's a bit of creosote still in the pipe. Clean that out when I get home. But these 10 foot pipes, the reason why they're so hard to roll, one, the sheer size, and two, they're so long that it really takes a lot of burning cycles to get the heat to go all the way to the top of the pipe. You, you kind of have to burn in it one way and then turn the whole pipe upside down and burn in it the other way to get the heat to go up the pipe and uh, and do it that way. So I'm just going to pack this stove away. I got to coil this up a little bit smaller, get the rings on there. But I'm basically done here. Um, I've got to pack this away, get that done. And I'm basically going to head out of here in the truck and the whole area is cleaned up, looks really great. I had an awesome time, a really, really great time. I've been itching for a two night trip in the fall, just a nice relaxing trip, a lot of gear, have some fun, kick back and relax. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you have any questions in any, any aspect of this video that you weren't sure of, or maybe you're curious of, drop it down in the comments section. I always read the comments. And like I said, gonna get this in the truck and I'm really glad you guys can join me. I'm going to head home. Peace out. I'll catch you guys in the next video.